Cole, nice to meet you. John. John, nice to meet you guys. How you guys doing? Very good. You guys doing good? Yeah, doing good. All right. Yeah. What do you think about your kickers? You got a rookie and a veteran <laughs> guy. I mean, we'll come out the gates with it. What's up? It's been great. It's been a really good battle. Um, Ryan Santos has done a really good job. He's a, a guy who's loaded with talent. So he's a guy that's been on the edge for the last couple of years. And he started out, he was punting and kicking. And so that's one thing I want to do is just kind of solidify him into the kicking. And he's done a fantastic job. Um, very talented, just got to get him more consistent. And, he's, and he did that all, all spring. So um, I'm really excited where he's headed. Um, you know, he's going to have about five weeks off and just trying to give him all the tools I can getting into this break. So come training camp, we really got a good battle. And then Andrew Mevis. Andrew Mevis is, is a good young player that is very consistent. You know, early on, he showed up and it wasn't quite as consistent, but that's part of the deal. It's part of being a rookie. But then here he was, he finished off the last few practices as good as anybody. So um, again, we got a really good battle that I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, develop come training camp, you know, preseason games, all that stuff. You know, we try to give him as much tools as we can this off season and coach him up, give him some details. And then come training camp, let's see what they've, they've taken all this month and then see what it looks like come, you know, training camp practices, preseason games, who can really stay focused every single practice, every single kick, and we'll see who's the, who wins the job. And, and, and I think, like I said, I'm excited to see the battle. He's looking, he's actually lost some weight. He's, he's looking fit right now, man. He's looking not, fit. He's, still be the he's, he's the, league, the biggest right? kicker in the league by far. I'm sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said we could play, play in some tight end on scout team if we need him. Does that help him in terms of obviously the size and the strength of kickoff? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, kickoffs you'll see it the most. And big, you know, that's what he's known for his big leg. He's a very talented big leg kicker so that he puts all of it does he takes two steps and it's just a it's it's a it's a big leg going through it and he's got a nice swing to it so yeah I mean it's a huge advantage for him um, you know it's a big foot to get your you know get on the ball uh, but he's uh, he, he's done a really good job for us. Do you feel like getting depth, depth on kickoffs is maybe an overlooked part of the position? I'm sorry say it again. Do you feel like getting the depth on you know kickoffs and getting that distance is kind of an overlooked part of the position? It is, and, and I think the, one of the biggest things, obviously, so much the, you know, the, the public wants to, to focus on field goal percentage, and that's huge. That's what wins games. But a big thing we do is field position, and, and, and it starts with a great kickoff with great hang times, good distances, directionally. You know, those are, those are kicks we can cover a lot better as a, as a coverage group. So it works hand in hand between the kicker starting us off and then the coverage guys running and hitting and making those plays. But yes, that's a huge thing. That's a, that's a big part of the evaluation is who can do both of those at a high level and the most consistent. Can you just talk about what drew you to Jacksonville, you know, Peterson's vision, sort of how your time has been here so far? It's been great. I've loved it here. Um, and that's, you know, that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Uh, when I was kind of looking into to, to, to potentially getting another spot, um, you know, Coach Peterson reached out and we had the same philosophy, the same beliefs. We, we, you know, we kind of, we, 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 it's, it's all about being positive. Well, how can we get the most out of the players? And, and, and his interaction with the players, the players love him here. The coaches love coming to work. Um, that's something I believe in. You know, I believed in it as a player. Um, it's something I learned throughout my years of playing. And that's how I try to, that, that's my philosophy as far as the way I try to coach it. And so we kind of really mesh together uh, uh, of just him and I, and, and we hit it off right away. So, and we just built that, that relationship since I've been here. You're never going to get a do-over for your final 13 seconds <laughs> But, you know, what, how much is that, how haunting is that for you, and how, how often do you think about it, and what do you wish you had done differently? I get that question all the time, and to be <laughs> perfectly honest with you, it's in the past. I don't worry about that. That's a, I, I, honestly, my answer to that is that's a question for the Buffalo Bills and Sean McDermott. That's a, it's in the past. I don't, I don't deal with that, to be honest with you. And that's part of the way I live my life. It's going forward, and what we're doing here, you know, I'm loving the guys that I work with here. I, I, I got a great appreciation for the players there. I had fantastic players, still good friends of mine that I talk to all the time. But down here, I'm trying to build something here special. That's what it's about for me. I, I move on. I, don't, I, don't, I honestly don't think twice about it. Keith, what, the, if, what, what if any challenges has just having the stadium field to practice on 
created for you guys? Because I know you have the indoor, but you know when Logan's trying to punt the ball and he, you know, he's got to be worried about the ceiling and everything else. What sort of challenges does that present? It is it is tougher tougher for the kicking game, but that's what's cool. It, it, that's what teams are do. We're having to work together as a staff to kind of hey, I'm going to work this drill here. We're doing a kickoff drill. Quarterbacks are throwing in the back of the end zone. All that stuff. We have to work together as a team, but it's another way to build the team. You know, we're trying to work together. Hey, you're going to use this space. Quarterback's going to be here. Players are going to, you know, we got to look after each other. Hey, my drill's going in the next drill. Let's move it. You know, we just got to work together. So uh, it's honestly, it's a cool thing that we'll just kind of, we'll it's a challenge, but makes it cool as a group. That's what, that's what building the team is. All these little challenges and building the team. That's the culture that, you know, that Coach Peterson, that's what he's talking about. That's what he, that's what we're doing. So that's, a, we look at it positive. It's not a, oh yeah, the season's done. We're over, you know, that's not what we're going to do. We're not, we're going to challenge, it's a challenge that we're accepting. We're going to have to drive a bus to, to training camp. Okay, it's more time together in the bus. That's what I look at it. Do you feel like the number of reps has been cut down because of the limitations at all? Or you guys feel like you're still getting nah. reps in? Yeah. No, we're still doing the same stuff. We're, we're able to do everything we need to do. Um, like I said, we're trying to work together and piece it together because it's a puzzle. Yep. You know, like we got guys, you know, working on the turf, you know, off the field. Uh, and that's what it is. We go to the indoor, you know, and then we're in the indoor and then, uh, you know, the storm hits the other day and they come in and I said, I rented it out for special teams. Well, guess what? Quarterbacks are in there. <laughs> so that's what it, that's how it works. Team working together. How can we get, be the best, put the best on the field? And that's really what it's about. Moving forward, one of these two kickers is going to be consistent enough, so that that's that guy is going to be your guy on week one. I think they have the ability to. Yes, I do. I think they have the ability to. But you know, the reality is, there's other kickers available that are on other teams, and that's that's what they know. You know, they're very very aware in this business. There's other kickers, and if, and if neither one doesn't perform well, well, guess what? There's somebody else that will want that job. Uh, I am confident that that one of those two guys will will distance themselves uh, and, and, and take the job. Yes, I am. How many core special teams do you have right now? Are you We're still evaluating the roster, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, that's part of the deal. That, that was the biggest thing, is just learning the roster. Um, you know, I have a bunch of guys that are four-phase guys. I, I view them as four-phase guys. But, you know, the reality is they got to play good on offense and defense, too. So, um, you know, I have some good players, and, and I'm excited to work with them. I, was, I saw some good stuff on tape last year, but they've, they've gotten better. You know, that's what's cool. Guys have really bought in to what you know, Coach Peterson's doing and, and, and what we're doing on special teams. So I have a bunch of guys coming to my office, want to learn. They're all kind of, they're just interested and they're having fun again. And, uh, you know, it's just we're, we're really, really enjoying what we're doing. How much were you involved in the evaluation and then signing of Andrew in terms of finding him, evaluating him, getting him in here? I was heavily involved in that. He was a guy that um, I, saw, I watched on tape, and I evaluated a ton of kickers, um, you know, in college. Uh, and then I flew to to Iowa State to work him out. Got stuck in Des Moines overnight, so it was worth my trip. That airport is not. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed overnight in Des Moines, Iowa, uh, but well worth my trip. You know, it was the guy I worked out. I worked out. I worked out a handful of other guys. And he was the guy that I pinpoint said, let's bring this guy in. If we get opportunity to bring him in, I think he's talented enough to do it in the NFL. And let's see what the competition looks like. And he's done nothing but, uh, you know, exactly what I thought he would do. Did it excite you during the draft to see the emphasis on the special teams? You know, Chad Luma, um, Steve Carter, Gregory Jr., uh, Buster Brown, all those guys, you know, Doug and, and Trent, have emphasized about special teams. Yeah, I mean, that's when you have those, the, those picks, those are huge, you know. And you never know how the, the draft's going to work out. You know, when we drafted Devin Lloyd, it's going, okay, I thought we were out of the linebacker business. Well, Chad's still there. Uh, that's great for me. You know, that's a huge deal. So both those guys have just been fantastic in the meetings, out at practice. They're, they're, they're unbelievable players. But, uh, you know, across the board, all those, Greg Jr., Monteric's done a really good job uh, of just kind of uh, embracing it. He's improved tremendously. So we got a good group of young players, uh, you know, that are excited to be here and want to learn special teams. And I think a lot of them, some of them played them, some haven't. But they're still all in, man. They're still ready to roll. And uh, like I said, that's what the we're just trying to train them. So come training camp, let's see what they can see what they can do with it. Two more Agnews off to the side, but that's got to excite you. Yes, yeah, and he's a guy that you know. Obviously, I've watched for several years. Um, you know, and, and in fact, I tried to get him. You know, all the teams I've been on. So um, he's a super talented guy. 
Um, I'm excited to have them. One of the one another reason why I'm here. You know, you got a returner like that that's that talented and that good. Um, we're excited to have them out there for sure. Yeah, it's going to be a uh, like I said, I'm, I've been kind of taking them slow, pulling them back as much as I can with you know as far as with the training staff of hold. He wants to go every time, and it's like, hey, buddy, just just relax. We got time. We got time. Let's just make sure he's primed and ready. You know, come week one. What's it been like trying other guys like Lavisca Chenard or Marvin Hall at return? We have a bunch of good. That, that's what's cool. We do our returner, uh, you know, period to start practice, and we have a bunch of young guys that have, you know, from uh, you know Shabari Davis has improved tremendously, all the way up to uh, you know Chanel. and and he's a guy that's, uh, you know, that when we talk to him about it, potentially doing it, he he, he loves it, and he's back there all the time, and um, he, he he did some in college, he hasn't done it in the last couple of years, but. He's as talented as, as anybody in this league or definitely on this team with the ball in his hands. I, I've, I've seen what he does on offense. So um, it, it's, I, I told him, I said, I'm, I'm, on, I'm looking forward to seeing you in, in some games returning and seeing what it looks like because he's talented. It, there's, he's dynamic. I mean, there's, there's speed and power you don't see from really across all positions, but especially the returner position. Was Logan Cook another reason that you were interested in coming to Jacksonville? I'm sorry, say again. Logan Cook, was he another reason you were interested in coming? Yeah, to I, 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 I walked into a great situation. Logan Cook is as talented uh, you know, as there is in this league. Um, you know, he has Pro Bowl talent uh, that I think that he's, you know, he obviously got injured last year, but he's a guy that uh, is super talented. He's great directionally with a big leg. Um, he's uh, competitive. He's been a great leader. That's something I've noticed. Uh, you know, not knowing getting in here was he's been a great leader to the young, you know, to the young kickers. Um, and then Ross, you know, Ross is a guy that, you know, watching him on tape, I thought he was a good player. And then I come here, he's a fantastic player. Uh, he's very competitive. He cares. Um, he, he, he wants to be the best. Uh, so I, I walked into a fantastic situation, um, not only with the specialist, but the returner, I mean, we got great players all over that. Uh, that's a, it, it, that, that's why I'm here. I mean, that's a, it, it's a great opportunity to, to, uh, to work with Coach Peterson and all these great players. You got a chance to check out Logan Cook's arm yet? <laughs> <laughs> We've thrown it around a little bit. Of course, he's, the, he, he, he's telling me he can, he can be the, the, the backup quarterback if he needs to. And we have, we have thrown it around a little bit, yes. A lot of versatility with him. And <laughs> Both of them big and got great arms for sure. Kicker. Over the course of your career, do you have you found that there's any disadvantage to a, a guy you know who's that big, big legged in terms of maybe a little bit more diminished accuracy than from a regular kicker? Or what? I have not worked with a guy that big. Um, Stephen Hauschka was a was a, a teammate of mine, and I also coached him in in in, uh, in Buffalo. And he's a guy that's a bigger kicker, um, not quite Santosa <laughs> size. There's not very many like that in the history of the NFL. Um, but uh, I think any time you have a big leg, elite leg talent, uh, that's something you want. You know, I, I think you're always looking at that. Now, if you can get them as, as, get them accurate, that's fantastic. So that's the goal, and that's one thing we've been working on a ton of shortening of his steps to a two-step, um, and that's been a work in progress that he's been doing all can, you know all off season. Um, and so that's why that's one of the tools I'm talking about is shortening up his steps, making them more compact. Uh, because he's such a big guy. Is there any big, uh, big-legged guy, even in the NFL past, that he reminds you of? Because you know, a lot of times, some of these guys don't do anything for two or three years, and they bounce around here and there, and then all of a sudden, you know, they blossom for whatever reason. Yeah, the guy with the Broncos is kind of similar, bigger body type guy. Again, there's no, there's nothing like Ryan Santoso, but I would say he's probably similar to the guy with the Broncos. You have a unique, um, obviously, as a, as a special <laughs> team coach, you have a unique perspective being able to play with or work with so many different players, different position groups. What have you seen sort of as the overall team outlook, makeup, and sort of their work ethic thus far? It's been great. And that's what, that, it goes back to what I talked about, about everyone's bought in. So from, you know, working with the O-line on field goal, you know, those guys are all in. Those guys are all in. From the DBs to the, to the, to the receivers, everybody on this team, it seems like there's a group that wants to get, do, wants to win. You know, they, 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 you know, I was talking to Logan the other day and asking him, uh, you know, we were at a barbecue together, and I was asking him how many wins he had. And, and it, it, was, it was shocking to me. But you, you, you should see why he's so hungry to win. You see why he's so competitive and why he wants to be great. And so I think the more guys that want to win, 
they care about being around each other, that's what we want. That the best teams are the teams that want to be together. The teams that I've been around, the teams that I've been on, teams that want to be around each other, that care about winning, that care about it, that's, that's, that's what this game's about. And that's, as a former player, that's what I try to, to, to explain to them is, you know, when you're all said and done, you got the, like, the money's not it. It's about the, the friendships you make, the, the, the camaraderie. That's the stuff you're going to remember. And I think these guys have leaned in on that, and, and, it, and it means so much to them. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Nice Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice.